Imani Bates is arguably the top player in high school basketball regardless of the class. He can do it all from dunks, passing, dribbling, shooting, and even some defense. And right now, he's on pace to have one of the greatest high school basketball careers of all time. But however, even though things seem really great for him now, they weren't always as good. And in today's video, I'm just here to explain to y'all his unreal story. Hey baby, we're back with the story times. If you're an OG of the channel, you remember that we used to do a ton of these videos. I honestly can't even remember the last time we did a story time on a basketball player, so it's been a minute, but I'm glad to do another one. Let me know in the comment section if you remember the OG story times with Matt, and also if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, join the family, and leave a like for more. And without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Imani is a straight up dog. We know this, and we're not here to talk about how good he is at basketball in this video because like I said, we know how good he is. We're gonna talk about how he got to where he is today, his grind, and his unbelievable story. Imani James Wayne Bates was born on January 28th in 2004. Born and raised in Ann Arbor, Michigan, he was viewed as a top prospect basically his entire life. At only the age of three, this is when he first started picking up a basketball and beginning to learn the game. When he would go to bed, he would sleep with a miniature basketball under his arm. When you hear that, there's no other way to put it. This kid has loved the game from the jump. And whenever he woke up, that basketball stayed with him. He'd pick it up and dribble it all around his house. And yes, this drove his parents crazy, but they also loved it. They was extremely happy to see their son doing what they thought he loved to do. Outside of dribbling in his house, in his childhood, he put in some serious work. He always trained with his father, and his father was a former professional player, so this makes a lot of sense. They started out working on his shooting form and his agility at first, but then advanced to more other things. Flash forward in time to fourth grade, this is when things really got took up to another level. He played against high school seniors at a rec league in Salem, Michigan when he was only in fourth grade. That's ridiculous. A fourth grader against high school senior, guys. I don't even know what to say about that. It's almost surreal to think about a middle schooler going up against seniors, but a fourth grader? That's just ridiculous. Around the same time, this is when he also picked up and joined the AAU circuit. A little fun fact to throw in there for you guys, he also played soccer in elementary school. I thought that was pretty interesting. Anyways, let's continue on. Imani first got recognized on the national radar around 2016. A main reason for that was because he averaged 28 points per game and 12 rebounds for the Toledo Wildcats AAU team in Chicago. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go any farther, I gotta say, this story is already pretty insane and crazy, but it gets even better, so just hear me out. I'm not just saying this to say this. You're going to want to stick around and wait till the end of this video. Flash forward a little more time into 7th grade, he played for Clegg Middle School and was rated as the number one player. Not only was he the number one player, he averaged a whopping 46 points per game in 7th grade. Wow, just wow. We got to clap it up and give credit where credit is due. That's amazing. Listen to this. In 8th grade, he was so much better than his competition, he decided to sit out and not play the 8th grade middle school season because it wasn't challenging to him. His parents thought it would be legitimately a better option for him to just train and not play in these games. I've never seen anything like that anywhere else. We're going to touch on that a little more later in the video, so stay tuned. Whenever he started to resume play again after training that one year, in the summer of 2018, he played in the 15U EYBO League. He was still younger than his competition, and he was putting up roughly 17 to 18 points per game. Once again, those are very solid numbers. In this video, I'm not going to try to dive deep into detail on the numbers and scoring too much. I'm just trying to give you a little background information. I'm trying to tell you guys stuff that I feel like you may not know and it seems like interesting stuff to talk and just think about. Moving forward and continuing on, when his dad would take him to practice or even school, he would always ask him one question and that question was, what was his goal in life? And Imani would say the same thing, I want to be the best player ever. Have you guys ever heard people talk about manifesting your dreams and speak it into existence? Well, Imani did just that. A coach has even said, quote unquote, he is the best player I've ever seen. You have to see it to believe it. Of course, is it really even an Imani Bates video if we're not going to make the Kevin Durant comparison? Come on now. Another recruiter and coach has even said that Imani is quote unquote the same level shooter but a much better ball handler than Durant at the same age. He was getting all this stuff said about him when he was only at the age of 15 and for a typical teenager and a 15 year old you would think this is too much too soon but it's not for Imani because he can handle it. I don't like to throw this out there a lot because I love Kobe and I don't want to disrespect him 
But I gotta say it, Imani has that Kobe mentality. And you know I can't give him that Kobe label without giving you some information to back it up, so just listen to this story. In a workout with his trainer, he was shooting three-pointers and he was making more than he missed and he was shooting roughly around 65%. I think we can all agree that we would love to be shooting 65%, but for Imani, it wasn't enough. When he got done with the drill, he cursed himself out repeatedly and kicked the ball into the stands. His dad tried calming him down, then he yelled out, quote unquote, I shouldn't be effing missing. Eventually, he refocused and got back on with the workout, but you get the point. I know some of you are probably wondering, how did Imani get so good at shooting and still be that tall? Well, here's your answer. When he was just in second grade, he was a head taller than his classmates, so a lot of people would say, yo, make him a center and put him in the post, but his dad didn't do that. His dad taught him how to shoot the ball the right way and shoot the three ball at a very young age. It doesn't just stop there. He also taught him how to handle the ball, and that's why he's been crossing defenders ever since he started hooping. He doesn't have a defined position. He dribbles, he passes, and he can score from anywhere on the floor whenever he wants to. This is one of those rare stories and cases where a kid was really good at a young age and continued to be that good and got even better. We don't see a lot of cases where these hyped up kids get all this attention from the media and whatnot and they wind up actually making it, so it's good to see a story like this. When he was only in seventh grade, the varsity coach went on to say this in an article. Imani probably would have been the best scorer on our varsity team when he was in the seventh grade. For a head varsity coach to say that about a seventh grader, that's so impressive. It's not even like his high school team was bad, they're not, and it's not even like he's throwing his players under the bus. He's just speaking on how good Imani is. Also in seventh grade, to throw in another fun fact, he signed his first autograph. In situations like this where kids get a ton of exposure and they get that number one player ranking, they tend to lay off the gas and take a step back. The reason he's gonna break this trend is because he keeps his foot on the gas. That's also another thing his dad is actually scared about because he thinks he's gonna overkill himself by working too hard. I do gotta say guys, that's not a bad thing to do. You rather be a hard worker than a lazy person. Back on topic with Imani skipping his 8th grade season, let's talk about that a little more. His mom wound up saying quote unquote, it wasn't even fair. He was dunking on everyone. It wasn't challenging enough for him. I just want to put this in perspective for you guys. Could you guys imagine having a hard day at school in 8th grade with your little crush and then you gotta get out of algebra class then you go and travel and play a kid who's averaging 50 points per game and dunking i don't even know what to say that just leaves me speechless the scary part about imani is he's only seen more success and even gotten better than what he was in seventh and eighth grade as a freshman for a very prestigious high school he averaged 28 points per game and 10 rebounds and as a sophomore he picked up right where he left off and averaged 32 points per game a lot of people like to say oh i'm built different but i'm just here to tell you imani bates He's built different. He's a rare breed and we just need to sit back and admire greatness. I kind of love how all these other players like Bronny, Mikey, and so many other high schoolers are getting all this hype and Imani's just chilling knowing he's the best. He likes laying low and that's what I like about Imani and DJ Wagner because they're those humble killers. Let me know in the comment section what you think about Imani's story. Is it crazy? Is it not crazy? Is he gonna be one of the goats? Is he gonna fall off? Let me know, man. With all that being said though, you already know that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you know that channel what are you doing join the family hit that subscribe button road to 80k and leave a like for more and oh yeah guys if you made it to this point in the video let me know if you want to see more story times this is the first story time we've done in a minute but as always let's be great i'm out y'all peace